Bobby Brazier has revealed what he'd say to his mum if she was still alive. The Strictly star has opened up about losing his mum Jade Goody when he was just five. In a raw interview, the Strictly Come Dancing star revealed how he had to let go of his feelings of anger and resentment to embrace love and vulnerability instead reports the mirror. In an emotional moment, he revealed, if I could see her again for one moment, I'd tell her, thank you and give her a cuddle. He added, it changed my life completely, I'd love to spend a day with her just to see where I get my smile from. On Saturday, Bobby and his strictly pro Diane Boswell are paying a heartfelt tribute to Jade, who lost her battle with cervical cancer in March 2009, age 27. Their couple's choice routine is to this woman's work by Maxwell a track that left a huge impression on Bobby as a little boy. Prior to the show, he explained the significance of the tune. He said, to me, this song is just perfect. My dad used to play it when I was young, maybe about 8 or 9, and it was really impactful for me. The lyrics are really profound. Maxwell sings, I should be crying, but I just can't let it show, and when I was younger, I'd never cry. I'd never let myself feel vulnerable enough. Those lyrics were the only thing that did make me cry because I knew they were so true. At the time, it was easier to be angry or resentful or fearful. I have definitely learned to let go of the anger now. I don't want to be angry. Why would I? For me, this dance is about the difference between the vulnerability of being honest with yourself, and allowing yourself to grow through love. Or doing what's easy, and being angry and resentful because it's too hard to change. My experience of that has been through the loss of my mum but as humans, I think we all experience those things, so I think everyone can relate to it. When TV star Jade died, her ex Jeff Brazier promised to give their sons, Bobby and Freddie, then four, a normal upbringing. And as Bobby performed tonight, TV presenter Jeff, 44, was in the audience alongside Freddie, 19. Bobby had said earlier, Dad will be in the audience and I think he will get emotional, I think it's going to be a flood from him. I don't think I'll find it hard but I definitely hope I find it emotional. I'm going to embrace that and try to enjoy it. I want to be open to where the dance and the song takes us. Diane added, this has been a really emotional week but not in a, I can't do it way, in a lovely way. Because this song is so special to Bobby. It instantly became really special for me as well. We've been working together so closely in the last 10 weeks, that I feel Bobby's emotions and he feels mine. So I also really feel close to this song and I've loved dancing the piece. I've loved the choreography. I've just really enjoyed it. The pair's bond away from the dance floor has led to rumors that they're together off-screen, however, Diane, who is dating her former Strictly partner Joe Sugg, brushed off the speculation. That happens every year, it's just part of it, she laughed. And Bobby cheerfully chipped in, especially when we're both so good-looking. Off-screens, Bobby has been linked to on and off love interest Tilia Marty who is appearing in the Strictly Christmas special this year, and Scarlett Taylor Sheridan, who recently joined his brother Freddie in the show audience. But when asked about his connection to the two women, Bobby insisted, I have no girlfriend. Instead, the star seems to be concentrating on Diane and throwing himself into training as the final stages of the intense contest fast approaches. 
Last week, the pair found themselves in the dance-off after an energetic jive to George Michael's Wake Me Up Before You Go Go in Blackpool. But Diane was adamant that the near miss, which saw Angela Rippon voted off, would not be holding them back. She said, it's true that we are very grateful to still be here, this is a routine we might not have been doing, so there is gratitude there. But it doesn't necessarily have to make things harder. We've had a really good week. And Bobby added, I wanted to take risks this week and prosper. I didn't want our couple's choice to be an easy route, I wanted it to be a new challenge. And I wanted it to be beautiful, to have an impact on the people who are watching. I wanted them to come on the journey with us. Asked about the Strictly experience, he went on, I've always described it as an experience of immense joy and distress. It's become everything, everything for months, and I've never experienced anything this intense for this long. But you do get used to it. I think the show has changed me. It's made me understand what it is to work this hard. And I'm so surprised by everyone's resilience, including my own, because the pressure is just constant. My resilience seems to grow every week, but that's courtesy of Diane, because she is the most resilient person ever and has become my best friend. I can't wait to go out on the dance floor this week, embrace the emotion and be open to where the dance and the song takes us. Strictly Come Dancing, the results is on BBC One on Sunday at 7.15pm.